Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, after you guys have requested for me to review this movie, I am finally reviewing Evil Dead 2. After discovering an audio tape left by a college professor that contains voice recordings from the Book of the Dead, Ash's girlfriend Linda becomes possessed by evil spirits that are awakened by the voices on the tape. Ash soon discovers there is no escaping the woods. So I was honestly not really planning on reviewing this movie for the series, I was just gonna do the first Evil Dead since I had recently watched it and it's pretty much one of the most iconic horror movies there is. And then when I posted my Evil Dead review, a lot of you guys said you liked Evil Dead 2 more and I don't know if you guys remember but in my Evil Dead review, I said I liked it, but I expected just a little bit more from it. And then I watched Evil Dead 2 and I really liked this one and I like it way more than I do the first one. And I also want to say that I did rewatch The Evil Dead again just because I was just in the mood and I liked it a lot more too. So I guess maybe it's just a franchise movie series that will grow on me over time. And the weird thing is, which I never knew this, Evil Dead 2 is more of a remake rather than a sequel of the first one because this one is honestly retelling a lot of the same events but just in different ways. They pretty much explain everything in the first 10 minutes. They play catch up with you and then a lot of what happens in the first one is kind of ignored in this one but I was honestly more into the story of this one than I was for the last one. I first want to talk about Bruce Campbell because I really liked him in this movie and I could 100% understand why Ash is one of the most popular horror movie characters because in this movie he really shines and I feel like this is the movie where he as a character steps in because this is the first time I'm watching these movies and I had always known that Ash was a very popular character in the horror community and then when I saw the first Evil Dead I was like this is the guy we're supposed to be rooting for like I didn't care about him at all and in this one we see a lot more of him because he is the central part of the story and I really liked that because I think he's a great character and his expressions are amazing and that's something that goes with the style of this movie because the tone is completely different than the first one this one is much more of a satire and comedy and like especially slapstick comedy and his expressions remind me a lot of like Jim Carrey's expressions where they're very over the top but they fit because this movie if I could describe but it is very over the top. But yeah, I just really liked his character in the movie and I thought it was really cool. He had a lot of really cool scenes because he's not just fighting the physical demons, he's also fighting his own demons and there's a lot of really cool scenes, like one where he just cuts off his hand because he's just not doing well. And there's a really cool scene where he's looking at the mirror and then his reflection pops out of the mirror and like talks to him and I just thought it was fantastic everything that they did with his character in this one. He also has a lot of great one-liners and we do spend a lot of time with him in this movie, especially towards the middle where it's pretty much just him and it's not even him talking. He's just wandering through this cabin and going through stuff in his brain and then physically and we just see him go through a lot and honestly, I enjoyed it. I, for the most part, I laughed and I think this movie wasn't trying to scare you it was more trying to make you laugh because I laughed throughout this entire movie. Similar to the first one, the first one had effects that made me laugh too, but thank god we do not have a tree rape scene. I forgot to mention that in the first review. I hated that scene. I was like, what is the purpose? We have a tree scene and I was really scared when I saw it. I was like, oh gosh. But no, it's good. We're good. It's just a tree attacking a woman, but not like in the first one. And this movie is gruesome, and this movie has a bigger budget. It's still a low-budget movie, but it's like a low, high-budget movie because they have a lot of more practical effects, and there's an entire scene where it's just like a volcano of blood, and I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool and nice. This movie is very silly, and usually that would turn me off and I won't lie sometimes it does turn me off the entire movie is very silly and like I was saying over the top and exaggerated and like it's not trying to be serious at all and sometimes it bothers me but for the most part I seemed to enjoy it and I had a good time with it and I don't know I feel like today was just a day for me to watch this movie because I can guarantee you if I had watched this on a wrong day I would have probably said I hated how silly it was but I was just in the mood to have a good laugh today and then I sat down and I watched this and I had a blast also the directing of this 
this movie wasn't as good as the first one because the cinematography in the first one was stellar and I thought was really fantastic and was a really great standing point in my opinion but I did like how many POV shots in this one especially towards the beginning you get POV shots of like the evil thing that we haven't even gotten to see yet and it's like coming in and trying to get Ash and then later on coming in and getting the other characters and I actually really liked those I thought they were very cool they were I think they were utilized in the first one but I hear it's used a lot more and then you get Ash's POV and other characters POVs and I really liked them especially when it was the evil thing chasing Ash I really liked it and then sometimes the scene would kind of switch and it would show us a wide view of, of the shot and nothing was really chasing him so it's like was it in Ash's head or did it just disappear I really like those type of shots because it made it more tense now where the negative for this movie comes with me the only real negative that I have with this movie that I, as I was watching it I was like oh I wish they would have done this it's that whole middle chunk I feel like the story just didn't move at that part it's the part where I was saying that we spend a lot of time with Ash just alone in the cabin and it's literally just him not even with dialogue but just him screaming or looking at a clock and the clock laughs and just a bunch of really goofy stuff is happening. I didn't mind the goofiness of it. I just felt like the story was not moving at all. And it was just a bunch of scenes where I'm like, where is this going? And it didn't really go anywhere. And the story felt like it took a pause there. And I really wish we would have like wrapped that up a little bit sooner. Because I feel like the pacing got a little bit stuck in that and then I feel like after it just keeps moving fast which I ended up enjoying. I have not seen Army of Darkness but after watching the finale of this I really want to go check it out and I'm gonna be honest I had no idea what Army of Darkness was like I've always heard of Evil Dead like having a third film but I didn't know and like medieval what the heck like I want to watch it right now and I honestly think I will after I'm filming this I think I will sit down and watch Army of Darkness because it looks fantastic and hopefully I end up liking it but yeah I'm actually really happy that I watched this movie and I'm gonna give Evil Dead 2 an A minus it was great and I want to thank you guys for being my subscribers and letting me know that this movie was good because I honestly would not have checked it out regardless because the first Evil Dead movie was fine and it was great, but it just didn't hit me. Like, I wasn't like, oh, I need to watch all of these movies, but now I'm interested and I honestly might try to watch all of them for the 31 Nights of Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching today's review and let me know what you guys think about Evil Dead 2 if you have seen it. And if you haven't, I highly recommend you do it. I also think this movie might be really fun to watch with friends because you'll just get a good laugh out of it. Thank you once again for watching my reviews and if you've never seen my face before, please consider subscribing to my channel. It'll really help me out and as well as commenting and liking and turning on post notifications so that you guys know every single time that I upload. And it's been fun reviewing this movie and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys!